Hello, 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 hello. Hello, this is V. Scott. Today we're going to be talking about a few different things. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about Dana Chanel. The, the Attorney General of Pennsylvania has accused the popular influencer of scamming small black business, small black businesses. Okay, so she's been accused of scamming small black businesses. And there is a 40-page silver suit that's been filed. Okay, so this lady here has been accused of scamming small black businesses. I don't know if it's true or if it's not true. Uh, I, you know, um, this is my first time ever hearing of her. Actually, when I saw this on the shade room, I got this from the shade room, and um, so yeah, I thought that I would bring this to y'all. And um, it's a shame, you know, if that's what she's doing. You know, you're supposed to be helping people. You're an influencer and you you out here scamming people that's trying to make it. And, you know, the, it's just so awful. It's it's just awful. But um, nevertheless, this is what she's been accused of. And um, a lawsuit has been filed against her. And I guess she'll have her day in court. And that's how it is. And we'll be moving on to the next thing. You know what? I'm totally disgusted by this. Totally, totally disgusted by this. Grown men. These two grown men. First of all, they sex trafficked a six-year-old girl. Second of all, they raped a six-year-old girl. Okay? And then this baby now has sexually transmitted diseases because of them. Where does this disgusting behavior end? Where does it end? What in the hell is going on? Who wants to have sex with a six-year-old child? What sense does that make? Still a baby. Still a baby. These people that came for her for sex trafficking are disgusting. And they need to um go after them. They need to find out who those disgusting people are as well. So they can go down with these two disgusting nasty, they, they not even men, these beasts, that's what they are, they just beast. so they, they all need to go down, because they're all beast. look at what they did to a, a baby, a six-year-old baby, she haven't even lived yet, you know, she's living, she's lived, but she haven't lived, and you know what I mean, and they have did this to her, it's going to take a lot, a lot for her, to recover from this a lot. I hope they get everything that's coming to them. Everything and then some. Okay? The book, everything need to get thrown at them. They need to be under the jail. They're going to get this. You know what? We don't even have to worry about it, but they're they going to get this. But I hate, I really hate what they did to this baby girl it's because they some disgusting people disgusting people and you out here sex sex trafficking a child sex trafficking any in anyone is wrong but a baby and then you up here and then y'all gonna rape her y'all couldn't find women women don't want to see you it's all kind of tale out there that you can get that is of age for the people that came for the sex trafficking and you two Nasty dudes. Look at you. That's why y'all about to do some real time. I don't. I don't. So this is what's happened here. That you know, and um, I have found this on in um, I have found this on the shade room. I had saw it, and then I went and looked it up to see just a little more details, and that's when I saw that the two men were actually from Arkansas and that they sex trafficked her, this poor baby, you know, because uh, I wanted to just see a little more details on it. And, um, so, you know, shout out to the shade room for always, um, putting, you know, putting stuff up and everything. And, um, yeah, so I'm not real happy about this here because these two just disgusting and the people that decided that they were going to come 
over and sleep with a six-year-old child. I hope they find y'all nasty asses too, you nasty bastards. All of you. And I have more news, more news if you want to call it news or more information. But I have more stuff to talk about. And what I'm going to talk about next is still not pretty, but we're going to go ahead and step on into it. Hey, this guy here, Yellow Beasley, has been accused of sexual assault. Actually, sexual assault, rape is all the same thing. He's been accused of raping a lady on the first date. And he's been accused of child endangerment in Texas. No means no. No means no. Get that through your thick skull. I'm not sure if you understand that. But no means no. He was arrested earlier this month. Okay, he was arrested earlier this month for sexual assault. He was arrested for sexual assault earlier this month. So, um, they must have some type of evidence on him for him to have been arrested more than likely. And, uh... I hope the lady get the justice that she deserves for her rape because um, you don't get to get off on raping women. You don't get to get off on raping anyone. You don't get to get off on it. No means no. And I'm glad that this lady had enough nerve to turn you in and to turn your ass up, okay? I said to turn you in and turn you up. Y'all know what I mean when I say it. I'm glad she did it. I'm glad she was able to do it. She was she was strong enough to come forward and point the finger at you and tell the people that your nasty ass raped her. That you did it. Okay? And I I want her to get her justice. You need to be behind bars. You need to be behind bars. You can't be out here raping people. How many other people have you raped? Because I'm sure this isn't the first one. This isn't your first rape. I'm real sure of that. Because this isn't your first one. I see how old you are. This isn't your first one. And maybe some more women going to come forward on you. Maybe they will. And I don't care who don't like what I'm saying. If you have something to say about what I'm saying, because I'm talking about this rapist, I don't care, okay? I don't like rapists, okay? I don't like them. They disgust me. They disguise themselves as good guys and all. You are a disgusting dude. You raped somebody on the first date. The lady didn't want to sleep with you, and she didn't have to. She didn't have to. No always means no. Not yes. Not for you to try to pounce on me anyway. Or the lady or anyone. It does not mean that. No means no. No means no. So if anybody don't like what I'm saying about no means no, I could care less. Because no always mean no. Okay? Celebrity non-celebrity, whoever you are, you have no right to violate anyone else's body at all. End of story. So, I'm going to say to you all, thank you for coming. Be blessed and have a great one because I'm done.